What's going on, movie lovers all over the world? This is your boy, Testified to the Music, a.k.a. Mikey Savage 21, bringing you a brand new movie review segment, which I'd like to call Throwback Thursday Reviews, where I'll review a film from the past years, whether it's last year, the year before that, or even all the way back to the 1970s, where we'll just sit here and review old films. And today, since Ghostbusters is coming out tonight, I figure, you know what, why not do a Ghostbusters review of the old original version? So with that being said, let's jump straight into the review. He is headed for a disaster of biblical proportion. Real wrath of God type stuff. Exactly. Fire and brimstone coming down from the sky. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Got your stick. Hold it. him up. Smoke it. Make him hot. All right, so I recently rewatched Ghostbusters, and I got to say, it still holds up today. There are a few little things in there that are kind of comical and cartoonish a little bit, especially for the movies that we've been getting most recently. But I got to say, it still, hold up, it still holds up as a film. You know, and again, I recommend you definitely checking it out. Um, but essentially, if you're new to this generation and you weren't able to watch the original 84 version of the Ghostbusters, Pretty much what it is, is there are ghosts attacking, attacking the city of Manhattan. And essentially what happens is you have a group of four guys comprised of Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, Ernie Hudson, and Harold Ramis. And essentially what they all end up having to do is they end up having to come together and fight the ghost. And they essentially call themselves the Ghostbusters. Now, I remember, uh, again, I wasn't born, but, you know, going back and looking on that time period, there were a lot of, you know, political things that kept, were kind of put into the film. You had the incompetent mayor who didn't know much or who didn't believe, which nowadays we do still have more skeptics about the paranormal and ghosts and things. But I'll get in more into that later on in a different separate video. But you have characters in here who don't necessarily believe in ghosts. Um, and then eventually uh, down the line, you have a character who gets possessed by a, what they call Zool. And then you also have the gatekeeper. And essentially what happens is when they get together, they're going to release this giant demonic demon that's supposed to come out and reign over the entire earth. And so it's up to the Ghostbusters essentially to stop them. So for me, I loved Ghostbusters growing up as a kid. I thought it was an awesome, awesome film, uh, along with the sequel, Ghostbusters 2. I was really surprised about how it somewhat still holds up a little bit. There are still a little bit of bits and, and things that go on in there that, that still might seem a little bit, again, cartoonish, uh, especially once you get down to the end. But the cameo appearances are awesome. The acting is up to par. You know, it's goes along well with it so i highly recommend going out and checking ghostbusters out especially if you're interested in seeing this new remake and you haven't seen the original i definitely recommend you check this one out but again rating this i gotta give the ghostbusters a five out of a five i mean it's it's that great of a film now the only question is will the ghostbusters remake be a five out of a five well, my buddy and I are going to check it out tonight at a little early showing that they're having at the AMC Theater. So we're going to check that out. And so I'm hoping that it's not as bad, but I'm hoping that it's somewhat as good as the original. Because again, there's a lot riding on this film. And again, I want everyone to know my opinion before going into seeing this film. I have no problem with an all-female lead cast. I have no problem with that none whatsoever make it as diverse as you want to what i care about are the characters able to essentially bring out the same acting potential that the original actors did and can the director live up to what came prior to him and again the director of the, you know the the old one his name is Raitman, and then now you have the new guy who's coming in paul feig who's directing this remake with the all-female lad cast but I think it's going to be pretty good. Again, I'm keeping my mind open. Um, but yeah, I recommend before you go see this, check out the original. If not, you know, go into it with a fresh mind. Either way, you know, it's going to be a little different. And so for all of you who are also seeing it early tonight, 
Remember, don't judge this film right away. Give it a chance. Give it an opportunity to breathe. It's not exactly going to be like the original. But again, we got to give it a chance. I mean, all films at some point have to get remade because the technology keeps getting better and better. Again, all the special effects and everything hold up for the most part from the original. But it's going to be kind of good to see how those effects are. And especially now that it's going to be in 3D. So with that being said, guys, that ends my throwback Thursday review. Again, we were looking at the film Ghostbusters, the 1984 version, directed by Raitman. Again, I highly recommend you check it out. Again, I give that a 5 out of a 5. It is a fantastic movie for its time. It spun a franchise that everybody has been talking about for years and years to come. So with that being said, guys, let me know down in the comment section below have you seen the 84 version? If you have, what do you think of the 84 version? And also let me know down in the comment section below, are you going to see the new Ghostbusters remake this weekend? I'm curious to know. Let me know down in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm testified to the music, a.k.a. Mikey Savage 21 saying, peace out. We came, we saw, we kicked it.